For someone who would later become a Green Beret in Vietnam, a roving Exxon auditor in Latin America, and a leader in the revitalization of the U.S. steel industry, Bill Casey's life began quietly in Atlanta, where his parents and their six children shared a four-bedroom house with a single bathroom. My father was a plumber, but my parents wanted us to expand our horizons beyond the Deep South, says Phil, who earned his Eagle Scout badge when he was 13. Early in his college career, Phil engaged in some uncharacteristic behavior that forced him to appear before UGA's legendary dean, William Tate, who expelled Phil from school for a year. Phil sold shoes at Thrift City and even apprehended a would-be robber, but he never got to share that growing up experience with Dean Tate at his reinstatement hearing. It was a short conversation, Phil recalls. Dean Tate said, if I give you a second chance, are you going to toe the line? Phil lived up to his promise to Dean Tate by exempting the banking and finance final at Terry. In search of a summer internship in a foreign country, he wrote 150 letters and got only one offer from a bank in Brazil. He didn't speak Portuguese. His father had to co-sign an $800 loan to pay for the plane ticket to Rio. And Brazil's military dictatorship made the transition even more difficult for a young man whose notion of foreign travel was the trip from Atlanta to Adairsville to visit his aunts and uncles. Phil completed his coursework at UGA in December 1966. The Vietnam War was raging at the time and his deferment was up. So he and his roommate, Lowell White, drove to Dallas to see Georgia play SMU in the Cotton Bowl. Phil's draft notice was in the mail when he got back. Phil enlisted in the Army, completed officer candidate school, and then jumped school at Fort Benning. He earned a Special Forces certification and was sent to Vietnam as an executive officer of an A-team camp in the Mekong Delta. Phil's duties included interdiction of enemy supply routes, Black Hawk search and destroy missions, and pacification of the local indigenous villages. He also conducted classified long-range reconnaissance missions inside Laos and Cambodia. He was awarded several battlefield commendations, including the Bronze Star. Phil got an MBA at the Thunderbird School of Global Management, then went to work for Exxon's affiliates throughout Latin America and the Caribbean, where he was exposed to dictators, communist movements, military coups, and violent terrorist insurgencies. Amidst all the political turmoil, Phil moonlighted as an independent agent with the CIA, an assignment that ended when his contact's home in Sao Paulo was firebombed. In 1974, Exxon sent Phil to Chile, where he met his future wife, Betty, an SO Brazil employee who was on a ski trip in the Chilean Andes. Phil spent the next decade working in various financial capacities for Exxon, both in Brazil and stateside. In 1985, Phil found his true calling, beginning with Birmingham Steel, where he was CFO, then Florida Steel, where he was CEO, and eventually Gerdau Ameristeel, where he has held all the top management positions. In leading corporate turnarounds in the volatile and cyclical steel industry, Phil has skillfully managed the cultural integration of Japanese, Canadian, and Brazilian majority shareholders. In 2005, he was honored with the Steel Manufacturers Association's highest award for meritorious service. Phil and Betty now live in Tampa. He has five board commitments and maintains a rigorous fitness routine to prepare him for a wide variety of sports, even bungee jumping. He and Betty enjoy hiking, and they recently hosted a Terry Leadership Briefing in Tampa. Phil serves on the Terry Dean's Advisory Council, and in 2007, he and Betty were inducted into the Terry Pinnacle Society, which is reserved for those who have given at least $1 million to the college. As nominator Lowell White says, the focus I saw in Phil as a young man is exemplified in the patriotism he has shown for his country and in the success he has enjoyed as an international businessman. The Terry College is proud to award its 2010 Distinguished Alumni Award to Phil Casey.